Okay, I know a lot of you have been asking and been getting a lot of requests to see the mods on the trailer turn my 2018 Jayco Hummingbird uh, into an off-road uh, worthy RV. Now, obviously this is not full-blown Australian style, but it does handle its own, and I have taken it off-road, and it works pretty damn well. Let me show you some of the mods I've done, and then uh, we'll get into it. Please remember to subscribe and like, and that lets me make more videos and bring better content to you. So let's take a look. So what we have is a 2018 Jayco. First off, what I did was, is that I modded the front rack. I have five flooded acid batteries on here with a total of five that uh, it gives me 375 amp hours of uh, power. I have it uh, hooked up for solar. I have my solar controller MC4 connectors coming out the bottom that I can uh, connect my panels to. I have them set up with uh, their flexible panels. Uh, I have anywhere from 300 to 600 watts that I could put on here. And... Um, I hang them out and let me show you my uh, my electronics I've got this modified with a progressive dynamics 80 amp converter which allows me to charge multiple batteries at once I have an off and on switch for the 12 volt power going to the RV I have my Renogy solar controller everything fused and I have a Xantrex 1500 inverter for my power needs off-grid. Now, I will tell you, uh, I just got a Renogy 2000 volt or 2000 watt inverter that I'm putting in here in the next week. And that'll allow me to run the microwave. I also modified the Jayco. Instead of just one 30-pound or 20-pound propane bottle, I have two with a changeover valve so that's an automatic changeover valve so all I have to do is turn one bottle on and it'll switch over when we run out I have a sway control set up for this thing I bought a 6,000 pound sway control unit I have the electric tongue jack and as you can see the batteries are all secured in and locked with two gauge soldered cables. I also took the bike rack that came with the uh, Jayco and I modified it. I had a bracket welded up out of aluminum for an uh, aluminum box uh, that I have. And I have that as additional storage and that just fits right in to the uh, bracket that's already there. And it turns out to be very useful that I can put uh, things that I don't want to carry in a trailer that it might be flammable or my toilet stuff. And that's waterproof and it locks right in. Now, as for the rest of it, I have 32-inch Jeep tires on the trailer. And I added a 7-inch lift on this trailer two three and a half inch blocks welded together and reinforced with a reinforced bar going across the entire length tying the brackets together this thing is never coming apart I also took the uh, gas line rather than running it under the frame which is ridiculous I ran it through one of the supports and that way it doesn't get hung up when you're going off-road because the trailer is so high, I've got 29 inches of ground clearance. I had to use uh, additional blocks underneath all the jacks. As you see, the Jayco has a, uh, a slide. And that slide provides plenty of room for the kitchen. I also have dual spare tires. Now, these are not full Jeep size tires. But uh, I plan on putting two full-size Jeep tires on here. These are the original uh, Goodyear-sized 
tires that they had on here, 16 inch, which are better than having nothing. And I carry a full size 32 inch Jeep tire spare in the back of my truck when I'm uh, driving. I also reinforced the rear bumper with brackets that are advertised. I also added a hitch mount and the hitch mount goes right back here that I can carry my rack on the back and I also rerouted the quick connect gas line. Now as you can see I also relocated the license plate. I have the uh, remote rear camera with an oversized long range antenna that works out really well. Here's the other side of that bracket and bumper. I also have my barbecue bracket here on the end that comes stock and I have it set up where I could just mount my barbecue right there. I took the other bracket off and I just add it on here with a quick pin and it stays right there for barbecuing. Now let's take a look at the inside where there's quite a few modifications. Now I have my uh, solar amp hour and voltmeter mounted directly above the uh, converter. That gives me the ability to check everything. I also modified and took out the AC TV and put a 12 volt TV in here so I could run directly off the batteries, no 110 volt necessary. And I did the same for the back TV. So we have two 12 volt TVs. Another nice mod is because these hummingbirds are really short on storage for the amount of space that they have in here. The design was actually quite poor and uh, they could have done a lot better in setting up the interior on this where there was more storage. But uh, what I did was I raised the bed platform 10 inches and put the mattress up and we've already used it like this and it gives us no problem whatsoever sleeping or even getting out. We just have a small step stool that we use to get in and out of bed and it works just fine even in the middle of the night. Now as you can see we've got all that storage up underneath the bed. It goes from here the beginning all the way to the back wall. It's the entire length. And we use tubbies back there with our clothes and bathroom accessories and uh, toiletries and all that. And if I need to get to the uh, propane heater or the water heater up underneath here, I've got an access panel under here that all I have to do is take out some of the tubbies. And the access panel is right here that I just take out one or two screws and you actually have enough room to get in there and do maintenance and stuff on the propane and water heater. We also put on um, a curtain for privacy over the bedroom because we have kids and the kids use the dinette and turned into a bed. Uh, I also bought these 12 volt fans off of uh, eBay for less than $10 and these things run off the USB 5 volt and they move so much air it is not even funny. So we put two of them in here one over the bed and one over the dining room table and they work great. I also added some semi-truck fans. We've got two of those in here and they again move a lot of air in and out of this uh, unit in the summer without running the air. We also added a uh, night light that we could use at night and shut everything else off for the kids. I also built in this storage shelf, again, because the storage in this thing is so bad. I built a shelf up over the dinette with soft containers that we store extra toilet paper and paper towels and everything else. And I added uh, LED lighting under here and just tapped it into the... Uh, the light up above and I also added another light for nighttime over the table so the table's nice and lit up. We also have a 12 volt 
refrigerator freezer that we keep in here while we're traveling that we can take it off we still have room in here for the seat three of us so we have room for two on one side one on the other there's plenty of room to eat we keep our extra big stuff up here that we can always put in the back of the truck later um we also have a, a gold zero that we keep on hand in case we need it and with the inverter i simply uh, came up with an adapter plug that you can uh, plug into the outlet from the inverter into one of the outlets in the RV and it gives you transfer of power that way you can uh, light up and power all the outlets in the trailer without a complicated box and all that although you could put a, a square deep breaker box and one of the panels down below and just put a breaker in there. And that works out good. So overall, it works out pretty good. Our bathroom is pretty much standard. We did do a border around the edges, which came out really good. Um, we have a bamboo mat that goes in the shower. And I'm getting ready to upgrade the uh, fan in here, which is pretty pathetic. They put a fantastic style fan. But other than that, this thing uh, is doing pretty good. It goes great off-road. And we're pretty happy with it. And uh, we plan on going on a trip here in spring break. And that will give us more to do. So uh, let's mod up them hummingbirds and let's see what you got. Remember to like and subscribe and uh, keep looking for our videos.